Hey guys, in this video I'll be doing a comparison between Rubio Mascara, Nexzilla, versus some different versions of Ronnie Coleman, but to be exact, those versions will be 1998 and 1999. This video will be more so on the fun side and less on the serious one, as I don't have all the mandatory poses in terms of video for Rubio, nor do I have the best quality video footage for Ronnie. I think the main takeaway from this video shouldn't be who is better, rather you guys should focus on the similarities and frequency factor that both men have. Now before the video does start, if you guys could like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. And you know, with that all being said, let's get into this video. Okay, here's the first pose of the front double, and this is definitely an eye-opener. Ronnie, a guy who has arguably some of the best legs of all time, is, you know, being dwarfed in the quads. Yes, camera angle and perspective can alter the true size of the legs. However, just take a look, guys. Rubio's quads are absolutely wild, and it's absolutely insane to see how good this guy really is. Just for reference, here's the front double bicep shot for Ronnie from the 1999 Mr. Olympia, and just look how good Rubio's quads still look. He does need more separation in those wheels to really do some damage, however, he is extremely close to Ronnie here. Ronnie does have some overwhelming arms though, which is definitely an area that Rubio does need to work on in order for them to come into proportion with the rest of his body. His lats and chest look very comparable to Ronnie though, and his X-frame does look spectacular. Here's the front lat spread, and this is definitely a pose that I think is a rather good one for Rubiel. He has some tremendous lats, wide clavicles, and a great frame perfectly suited for this pose. He does need to pose a bit better in my opinion though in order to maximize his potential. Ronnie looks amazing as always, however, let's take a, you know, another look at a clearer picture. Okay, here's a clearer shot, and now you guys can see just how comparable a structure Rubio has to Ronnie. Both have those wide shoulders, huge arms, and great lats, however, Ronnie edges him out in the conditioning, and you know, overall polish. Once again, Rubio's quads dominate in size, however, Ronnie's do fight back with amazing separation and detail. While I think Rubio looks amazing here, he needs to come in a bit more peeled in order to win a shot like this against Ronnie. Here's the side chest, and wow guys, take a look at that leg on Rubio. I'll probably say this a lot here, but I think it's justified. His leg is just phenomenal with just, you know, so much detail, and it definitely does dwarf Ronnie's. Upper body wise, both have great size. However, from this poor quality freeze frame, we, you know, can't really determine the conditioning all too well for Ronnie. Now, with this clear shot, we can now see that Ronnie just has, you know, a lot of detail on the side leg as well, if not more. Still though, Rubio has a lot of size and presents the side leg in a much better fashion. Ronnie does dominate in the upper body though, showcasing so much more quality and condition in the arms, chest, and delts, and looks a whole lot more peeled. If Rubio were to come in at like, you know, 4% body fat, I honestly think he could give anyone a run for their money in the side chest. The rear double is a very promising shot for Rubio. Comparing him to Ronnie, he is definitely able to hang in the back and lower half rather well. Sure, he doesn't have the size in the back nor the conditioning of the legs, however his genetic potential is clearly there. This picture of Ronnie does show that Rubio needs more conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings, however his back really looks good and just amazing actually next to Ronnie's. Both have insane lats and lower backs in my opinion, however Ronnie beats him handily in the shoulders, traps, and arms. I would even give Ronnie the win in the lower body too, as his glutes and hamstrings are far better, while Rubio only has Ronnie beat really on that outer quad sweep. In the rear lat spread, Rubio doesn't look nearly as impressive as he did in the last pose. His back, while good, can't compete with the thickness and density that Ronnie presents. The lower body should play out similarly to how it did in the rear double. However, you can clearly see how much thickness Ronnie has in his traps compared to Rubio. This second shot does show that Ronnie does indeed still win the lower body while dominating the back. His lower back lats and traps look phenomenal and there's just no way Rubio is winning this pose. I still think that he needs to bring up his back just a bit in order to really contend with, you know, some of the best backs of all time. 
Here's the side tricep, and now as you can see, we've run out of live video footage to use, so we're gonna have to use pictures only from now on. That being said, this one is a clear domination for Rubio. Look at his tricep, midsection, side leg, and chest, and compare them to Ronnie's. Sure, you know, Ronnie has a good arm and a great chest and shoulder. However, his midsection, tricep, and side leg are being decimated by Rubio. Honestly, guys, Rubio has one of the best side triceps I've seen in a very long time, as he is just so thick but still looks extremely and I really do mean extremely aesthetic. So this pose is you know definitely an easy win for Rubio. The ab and thigh is also an easy win for Naxilla. His abs and quads look insane here, and his V-taper is very comparable to Ronnie's. It's not like Ronnie is, you know, a flex wheeler, Andrew Jacked, or, you know, Sean Ray here either, so it's not surprising to see a guy who has better abs and insane quads beating him here. Ronnie does have some amazing quads too, razor sharp conditioning, and a decent V-taper, however, Rubio's freakiness definitely just blows him out of the water. The most muscular is the last pose of this comparison, and here you can clearly see those wide clavicles that both men presented in the front shots. Rubio really surprises me here as his quads, arms, and chest all look so insanely freaky, and he looks perfectly suited for this pose. That being said, you know, Ronnie is perfectly suited for this pose too, showcasing better delts, chest, and arms in terms of separation and conditioning. Honestly though, Rubio does look so good to the point where I feel like he is seriously pushing Ronnie for the win in this pose. I will still have to give this one to Ronnie, however I can definitely see an argument being made for Rubio. Alright, that about does it for this video. While Ronnie of course would win this comparison, due to his better X-frame conditioning and more pleasing muscularity, Rubio presented insane levels of freak factor, some insane you know, world class body parts, and overall an amazing package. He definitely has some standout poses like the ab and thigh, most muscular, side chest, and side tricep, 4 out of 8, so that's insane already. Uh, you know, and he's extremely close to turning all of his poses into excellent ones. He really has no weak points, I mean, even his neck is outstanding, come on guys, his nickname is Neckzilla for a reason, and I can see him cracking into the top 10 or better at the Olympia in the future. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, let me know down below what you guys think of this comparison, and I'll see you all in the next one, thanks for watching watching.